Hello everyone and welcome inside the Ersprung Gymnasium at the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University as the Yellow Jackets get set to host their regular season home finale against Fontbonne University out of Missouri. The Yellow Jackets come in on the heels of last night's three set victory over the Wabash Little Giants. They're eight and 16 overall, five and two here at Ersprung Gymnasium and three and three in conference play. Von Bonn is 16 and six overall. They are four and five away from home, but they are five and zero oh in the conference. Taking a look at the starting lineups first for Von Bonn University, the setter number two, Kyler Van Rossum O'Connell. At middle hitter number three, Logan Irby. And outside hitter number four, Ryan Lively. Right side hitter number eight, Nate Pash. The libero, defensive specialist number 19, Kyle Schnook. And outside hitter number 24, Colin Scharnhorst. And at middle hitter number 27, Braden Woolsey. The Griffins are coached by Jimmy Skitka. Starting it off for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets, the outside hitters, sophomore number one, Michael Beard, and sophomore number two, Nick Ireland. The center, setter rather, is number four, sophomore Brandon Long. The right side hitter is number six, Nick Mazzoni. The middle hitter is sophomore number eight, Chris Mole. Freshman setter number 15, Carson Junker. Is also in the starting lineup, and the liberos are number three, Peyton Reed, and number 21, Andrew Soriano. The Yellow Jackets are coached by Kyle Mars, who's in his second season with the program. The Yellow Jackets will be in their home white uniforms with gold letter or gold numerals, brown and gold lettering, and brown and gold trim down the sides. Fon Pon in their white uniforms as well with purple lettering and numerals gray shorts and uh, no trim down the sides. The Yellow Jackets will be on the right side of your screens while the Fontbon Griffins will be on the left. The Yellow Jackets will be on serve reception to start the game. Fontbonne will be on serve. Check that, BW will go on serve to start this match. And it'll be Brandon Long doing the honors. Jumping right-handed serve, it's played up to Irby. He sets it up for an outside hit attempt for Pash, and Pash sends it into the net. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Long stays on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Jumping right-hander played up to Irby. He sets up. Lively for the finish at the net. Excuse me, Irby was the one with the kill and Van Rossum O'Connell was there for the assist. Van Rossum O'Connell will drop back to serve. He lobs it over. It's played by Beard up to Long. Outside hit from Ireland is played by Fontbonne. Pash with the left-handed swing. It's played by Long. Ireland takes it from Soriano, hits the roll shot. Diving attempt, keeps it alive for Fontbonne. Tip by Lively is batted right back at him by the Yellow Jackets. And a pass is there for the kill for Fontbonne. Van Rossum O'Connell stays on serve. It's played by Beard up to Long. Sets it up for Ireland, and he sends it out of bounds. Point for Fontbonne. Good placement, just a little bit too much distance on that hit from Ireland. Van Rossum O'Connell plays it over the net to Ireland. 
He'll get set up for the hit, and he again sends it out of bounds. It's not missing by much, but it's just enough. That gives the Griffins a four to one lead over the Yellow Jackets. And Rossum O'Connell serves it. It's played by Ireland up to the net. Sets up for the outside hit from Mazzoni. And it's a point for the Griffins as Mazzoni sends it out of bounds. Soriano plays this serve up to Long, sets it up for Junker, and he gets the point off the tip. Junker didn't get much behind the ball, but that might have actually benefited the Yellow Jackets as it caught Fontbon off guard and dropped in for the point. Ireland rotates over on serve with the Jackets down 5-2. to two. It's played up to Van Rossum O'Connell, and coming up with the kill, it's Ryan Lively from the outside hitter position. The 6'5 junior out of St. Louis making a statement with that swing and now Lively will rotate in to take the serve. He tosses it high into the sky and blasts it just out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Carson Junker will be on serve. He takes a deep breath, spins the ball, bounces it three times, spins it twice more and tosses it up into the air before launching a right-handed serve that's played up to the net. Big hit and a kill for Fontbon. That's Lively coming up with the point. Tengus Kelly checks into the game for Fontbon and he will serve. Left-handed attempt played by Soriano over to Mazzoni now, and his hit goes unreturned as it goes out of bounds off of Fontbonne. That's a kill for Nick Mazzoni. Point for the Yellow Jackets. They trail seven to four here in set number one. Mazzoni's left-hander played by Lively up to Irby. Outside hit attempt from Scharnhorst is blocked, but it's out of bounds off the Yellow Jackets. That's a point for the Griffins. Nate Pesh goes on serve. He chops down on it three times, gives it a couple spins, puts it at his side, takes a deep breath, and lobs it up for the left-handed serve. It's played by Beard up to Long. Ireland from the back row, puts it down for the Yellow Jacket point. Michael Beard on serve. He fires a right-handed serve, out of bounds, point for the Griffins. Serve is handled by the Yellow Jackets. They'll get a second shot at it as a block occurred at the net. Fontbonne will reset. Lively with the big swing. Soriano plays it, but he sends it into the crowd here in Ersprung Gymnasium about eight rows back. That's a point for the Griffins. A kill by Lively. Sharnhorst stays on serve. His jumping right-hander played by Ireland. Out of bounds. Point for Fontbonne. With that, Font Bond takes an 11 of 5 advantage over the Yellow Jackets, and we have a timeout on the court by BW. While we have this opportunity, want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. 
Tonight, today's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of the timeout, it's Mazzoni, Ireland, Mole, Long, Soriano, and Beard on the court for the Yellow Jackets. Fontbonne sends Van Rossum O'Connell, Lively, Scharnhorst, Woolsey, Pash, and Kyle Schnook on the floor. Sharnhorst serve, played by Beard, up to Long. Outside hit from Mazzoni, played out of bounds, but stuck with it, Not a free ball from Fontbonne up to the Yellow Jackets. Long with the set, Ireland with the tip of the net. It's kept alive by Fontbonne. They'll regroup. Van Rossum O'Connell sets up a big hit, but it's blocked by the Yellow Jackets. Now he'll get a tip over the net. Ireland with a big swing. It's blocked out of bounds. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. They trail now 11 to six here in set number one. Junker back into the game. Checking in for his first action today, Carson Owens. Owens chops at it three times, bounces it a couple times, regroups and lobs his right-handed serve, out of bounds. Point for Fontbonne. Checking in and rotating over to serve is senior outside here, number 12, Tony Brooks. Jumping right-handed attempt, sails out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Brandon Long on serve. It's played by Fontbonne. Irby with the hit. Yellow Jackets respond. Now Mazzoni with the hit. Fontbonne plays it. Big swing from Lively. Played out of bounds off of Soriano. Point for Fontbonne. Van Rossum O'Connell puts it over the net. It's played by Ireland over the long swing and a kill from Carson Junker. Point for the Yellow Jackets. They trail 13 to 8 here in set number one. Ireland back on serve. It's handled by Snook up to. Van Rossum O'Connell, and he sets up lively for the finish. Lively will rotate over and handle serves on this rotation. Sends it over with the right hand, and it's out of bounds. Soriano did a good job to keep his hands down. He was getting ready to receive it, but saw that it was well above his head and let it fly over. On its way out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Carson Junker goes on serve. Right hander played by Sharnhorse. Pretty close to the net. And an infraction against Fontbon leads to a Yellow Jacket point. Loose ball rolled onto the court, so the official stop play momentarily. Now we have the signal for Junker to get back into his normal routine. Junker's hit is played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Big swing from Pash, but he sends it into the Yellow Jacket bench. That's a point for BW.
Junker with the right-handed serve off the net. Snook plays it up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Now to Scharnhorst. He gets a deflection over the net and gets a point. His long had to dive at it, but didn't get much behind it. And the Yellow Jackets could not get it over in three hits. Point for the Griffins. Tengus Kelly, the freshman from Chesterfield, Missouri, checks in to handle serving. His left-hand attempt goes just out of bounds. It didn't miss by much, but it was enough for that flag to go up and signal out of bounds. Nick Mazzoni will serve now for the Yellow Jackets. They trail 15-12 here in set number one. Mazzoni's hit played up to the center. Now Pash puts it down for the kill as he hits right through a block attempt by the Yellow Jackets. Nate Pash will serve it up for Fontbonne, the senior left-hander shot is played by Beard. Now Ireland from the back row comes up with a hit and he puts it down for a Yellow Jacket point. The Yellow Jackets may have found something here with Ireland on the right side. He missed wide and long a couple times on hits. Now he's in the back row and he's coming up with some points. Michael Beard on serve. It's played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Tip shot and point by Woolsey. Good job of finding a hole in the Yellow Jackets defense. And just put it where they weren't. Scharnhorst out of St. Peter's, Missouri, will hit the jumping right-handed serve to Soriano. Up to Long. Mole with a big hit at the net, but it's played by Fompon. Lively with a hit that's played by Beard up to Long. Mazzoni from the right side hits it into the net. Point for Fompon. BW burns a timeout. They trail Fontbonne here in set number one, 18 to 13. While we have this opportunity, we want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball game is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's game is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Ratuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official healthcare provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for all of your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of the timeout, it's Mazzoni, Ireland, Beard, Soriano, Mole, and Long on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Van Rossum, O'Connell, Scharnhorst, Snook, Lively, Woolsey, and Pash on the floor for Fontbonne. Scharnhorst on serve. Right-handed. Shot played by Soriano up to long. Left-handed hit for the kill from Nick Mazzoni. Carson Owens goes on serve with the Yellow Jackets trailing 18-14 here in set number one. Floating shot played by Snook, now lively, skying up in the heavens to bring that one down with a kill. Authority on that shot. No Yellow Jacket could get to it. Point for Fontbonne. Tony Brooks checks back into the game, and he will handle the serves on this rotation. And he sends it long for the second time today. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Number 
Brandon Long on serve for the Yellow Jackets, who trail 19-15. Long's hit played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Not a lively, his shot's blocked, but it's kept alive by Fontbonn, and uh, Logan Irby is there for the finish. Then Rossum O'Connell on serve. It's played by Ireland right back over the net. Free ball for Fontbonne. Then Rossum O'Connell over to Pash, and he smashes it down for a kill. Then Rossum O'Connell shot played by Ireland. Over to Mazzoni now, and he's... Puts it down for the kill. 21-16, Jackets cut the deficit. Ireland on serve. Jumping right-hander played by Scharnhorst. Van Rossum O'Connell keeps it alive. Lively will send over to free ball. Junker plays it up to long. Now to Mazzoni. He hits it through a block. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Ireland's jump serve is played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Lively shot blocked out of bounds. Point for Font Vaughn. Ryan Lively will serve it up for the Griffins. His jumping right handed serve. Goes unreturned as it hits off of Ireland's right arm and flies about 40 feet backwards into the wall here at Ersprung Gymnasium. Yellow Jackets unable to play it. Lively on the jump serve. Plays it right back to Ireland. He hits it up to Long. Mazzoni with the tip. Played by Snook. Off the net. Van Rossum O'Connell sets up Irby. But Irby muscles it out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Carson Junker goes on serve. Right-handed shot, hits the net and falls on BW's side. That's a point for Fontbonne and now they have set point as they lead 24-18. And it'll be Tengus Kelly coming on to the floor to try and end this set for Fontbonne. Left-handed attempt played by Ireland up to Long. Not a Mazzoni on the left side. He hits it through a block. It's out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. So they stay alive, but still set point for Fontbonne. Zoni's left-handed attempt played by Sharnhorst. Up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Back to Sharnhorst. He puts it down for the kill to close out set number one. BW falls in that first set, 25 to 19. So if they hope to make it two straight victories, they're going to have to win it and at least force it to at least four sets now. With that break in the action, we're going to step aside for our own break. We'll be back with second set action in just a moment on BWYellowJackets.com.
Welcome back to the Ersprung Gymnasium inside the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. I'm Matt Florjancic on the call for today's Midwest Collegiate Volleyball League match between the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets and Fontbon University Griffins. Fontbon took set number one by a 25 to 19 count. They had five kills from Ryan Lively, four from Colin Scharnhorst, three each from Logan Irby and Nate Pash, and one from Braden Woolsey. BW was led in kills in that first set by Nick Mazzoni, who had five. Nick Ireland had four and one each for Michael Beard and Carson Junker. As a team, BW had 11 kills, four errors, 24 total attacks for a 292 hit percentage. They were 15 to 24 on their side outs. Fontbonne had 16 kills with three errors and 25 total attacks for a 520 hitting percentage and 16 of 20 on their side outs. Fontbonne starts off on serve. BW had a big swing and a hit, but it was blocked down for a point by Fontbonne. Van Ross from O'Connell will stay on serve. Floating right-hander played by Beard up to long over to Mazzoni, and he gets it blocked down for a Fontbonne point. Griffin starting strong here in set number two. Van Rossum O'Connell's serve played by Ireland up to long. Back to Ireland on the tip. And Van Rossum O'Connell keeps it alive with a diving hit. But no other bomb player can get to it. And it falls to the court for a Yellow Jacket point. BW trails 2-1 to one here in set number two. And they are down one set to none in the match. Brandon Long plays it. But it is handled by Fontbonne. Lively on the hit attempt. Blasts it well out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. They even things up at two apiece in set number two. Long shot played by Sar Scharnhorst. And coming up with the big swing was Logan Irby. The Yellow Jackets handle it. And they get a point as Nick Mazzoni hits it through a block for the point. BW now leads three to two in the early goings of set number two. Long on the serve and he sends it out of bounds. We're back even at three apiece. Ryan Lively will rotate over on serve for Fontbonne. He's joined on the floor by Snook, Van Rossum O'Connell, Pash, Sharnhorst and Irby. Soriano plays it for the Yellow Jackets up the long. Ireland with the big swing, and he absolutely blasts Kyle Snook with that kill. That hit Snook high in the shoulders, and he could not make a good play on it. Ireland will be on serve now. It's played by Sharnhorst up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Back to Sharnhorst. He gets it blocked and it's out of bounds off of Fontbon. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Ireland back on serve. It's played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Pass with the left handed swing. It's blocked down by Carson Junker. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. BW with a three-point lead here in set number two, six to three, looking to build on it as Ireland stays on serve. He hit Snook's reception goes all the way back over the net. Ireland from the back row, he puts it down, and it's out of bounds off of Fontbonne. Point for the Yellow Jackets. I don't think it's going to be too long before we hear a timeout, and that's what we do as Fontbonne trailing. 7-3 here in set number two decides to burn their first time out. While we have this break in the action, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball match is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for, Bald or for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student-athletes. 
Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Retuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines is the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for all of your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of the timeout, Ireland will stay on serve. He's joined on the floor by Beard, Mazzoni, Junker, Long, and Soriano. Out of the break, Fonbon sends Snook, Scharnhorst, Lively, Irby, Pesh, and Van Rossum O'Connell onto the floor. Jumping right-handed serve from Ireland, played by Scharnhorst, up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Pesh with the swing! And it's blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds. It's a point for the Griffins. Woolsey checks back into the game for, into the match rather, for Fontbonne. So does Tengis Kelly, and Kelly will be on serve. Jumping left-handed attempt played by Ireland. Long with a dive. Ireland will send it over with a free ball. Now a big swing and a hit for Woolsey and the Yellow Jackets with three diving attempts could not get it over the net. Point for Fontbon. Kelly with the left-handed serve played by Soriano up to Long. Over to Beard, shot blocked, but Soriano dives to keep it alive. Beard with a second attempt. It's played again by Fontbon. Woolsey with a hit, handled by Long. Over to Soriano, not a Mazzoni. It's played by Fontbonne. Scharnhorst with the big outside hit, and it's down for a Fontbonne point. Fontbonne with a chance to even things up here at seven apiece with this point. Kelly on serve. His left-handed attempt floats out of bounds, and that's a point for the Yellow Jackets. They lead it 8-6. Chris Mole will check in. Soriano will check out. Carson Junker rotates on serve. Right-hander played by Sharnhorst up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Not a pass. The Yellow Jackets have to track it down. It'll be Long sending it over on a free ball. Snook plays it up to the net. Pash with the big swing, and it's tipped by Junker before going out of bounds. That's a point for Fontbon. Nate Pash will go on serve. Pesh's left-handed serve played by Soriano. Hope to Long, not a Mazzoni on the outside, and he sends it out of bounds. The Yellow Jackets asking for a tip, and they are not going to be awarded that, so that will even things up in the second set at 8-8. Eight, eight. And speaking of eights, number eight, Nate Pesh, stays on serve. Pash with the left-hand attempt, sends it out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets, they go back in front. Nick Mazzoni will serve it up. His left-handed attempt holds the line, and that's an ace for the Yellow Jackets. Von Bon content to try and let that go out of bounds. It stayed in. Zoni's serve handled by Fontbon. Their first attempt to go over the net was blocked. Now Pash with the attempt from the outside. He hits it into the net. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Nick Mazzoni looking to build off of this three-point lead here as the Yellow Jackets hold an 11-8 advantage over Fontbon. And just as I say that, 
Just like shooting free throws in basketball, I may have jinxed the poor young man as he hits it into the net. Point for Fontbon. Colin Scharnhorst will be on serve for Fontbon. And it's played by Beard up to Long. Ireland from the back row hits it off a snook out of bounds. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Michael Beard takes a deep breath before giving the ball a spin, chinning it, and then launching for the serve. And he hits it into the net. Point for Fontbonne. Tony Brooks is back into the match for Fontbonne, and he will immediately go on serve. Brooks' is serve played by the Yellow Jackets. Mazzoni now with the big swing, but Brooks is there to receive it. Lively now with a big hit, but Soriano dives to keep it alive for the Yellow Jackets. Beard with a big hit. It's played by Fontbonne and sent over on the free ball. Long will set it up for Beard, and Beard hits it out of bounds. Point for Fontbonne. Brooks will stay on serve. Brooks' serve played by Soriano up to Long, over to Mazzoni. Tip, and that's a kill for the Yellow Jackets as he found a gaping hole in Fontbonne's positioning on the court and put it down for the point. Carson Owens goes on serve with the Yellow Jackets leading here in set number two, 13 to 11. They trail one set to none in the match. Owens' attempt played off the net, but it falls back down to the court by Fontball, and that's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Owens credited with an ace. Carson Owens serves it up. Sharnhorst plays it up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Outside hit from Lively. And he skies up and puts it down for the point. Van Rossum O'Connell will rotate over to take the serves now. Right-handed shot played by Beard up to Long. Over to Ireland. He puts it down through a block for a yellow check at point. Brandon Long will now be on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Right-handed attempt played up to Van Rossum O'Connell. He sets up Irby. Yellow Jackets claim there was a fourth hit from Fontbonne. Refs did not call it. Michael Beard, however, takes matters into his own hands and said, Forget the call, I'll handle it myself, and puts it down for the kill. Long with the jumping right-handed serve, handled by Snook, up to Van Rossum O'Connell, lively with the tip at the net. Yellow Jackets send over the free ball. Sharnhorst up to Van Rossum O'Connell, now with the big swing and a point. It's Ryan Lively. Lively will go back on serve. He puts it right into the net. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Nick Ireland will go on serve. Jumping right-hander played by Lively. Up to Van Rossum O'Connell, out to the outside. It's Sharnhorst coming up with the right-handed shot and the kill. Woolsey checks back in, as does Tengis Kelly. And Kelly will be on serve.
Left-handed serve played by the Yellow Jackets. Beard on the outside. Sends it out of bounds. It's a point for the Griffins. Kelly stays on serve. And it's played by Ireland up the long, over to Beard. Beard shot is blocked. It's out of bounds. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Carson Junker goes on serve. BW holding a three point lead here in set number two, 18 to 15. You're down one set to none in this match. The last regular season home match of the season for the Yellow Jackets. Junker muscles it over the net and Ross O'Connell sets it up for Pash and he hits it through a block for the kill. Nate Pash will serve it up for Fontbonne. It's played by Ireland up to Long. Over to Beard. Beard shot is blocked and it's knocked out of bounds by Nick Ireland. He had good reflexes to get a hand on the ball but didn't get enough behind it to elevate it and it fell to the court. Point for Fontbonne. Pash with the left-handed serve, again played by Ireland, up to long, outside hit from Mazzoni, and he absolutely smashes it, but out of bounds. That's a set tying point. As it knots things up at 18, and with that Baldwin Wallace will use a timeout to try and regroup here after a hot start to set number two. Fontbonne has fought their way back to even at 18 apiece. While well, we have this opportunity, I want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball match is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, your proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Ratuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official healthcare provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of the timeout. It's Beard, Ireland, Soriano, Long, Mole, and Mazzoni on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Wolsey, Scharnhorst, Van Rossum, O'Connell, Snook, Lively, and Pash on the floor for Fontbonne. And it is Pash remaining on serve. The left-handed attempt is played by Ireland up to Long. Mazzoni with the outside hit. It's handled by Fontbonne. Van Rossum, O'Connell sets up Pash, his back row hit is played by Ireland. Up to long over to Beard. Beard hits it through a block. Snook keeps it alive, so does Scharnhorst. And Van Rossum O'Connell sends over the free ball. Mole with a big swing, but Snook is there to dig it out. And now from the back row, it's Lively coming up with the hit. But the official rules that it went out of bounds. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. It didn't miss by much if it missed at all. BW back in front, 19-18. Mazzoni's left-handed serve played up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Coming up with the big swing to knock things up at 19. It's Braden Woolsey. The 6'5 senior out of Edwardsville, Illinois. Coming up with the big point for Fontbonne. Sharnhorst to serve it up. His right-handed attempt goes right into the net point for the Yellow Jackets. Michael Beard will go on serve now for BW. B. 
Beard's right-handed attempt played by Scharnhorst over the net and down for the tip and the point for the Yellow Jackets. It's Nick Ireland. Beard with the shot and it's out of bounds. Point for Fontbonne. They go on serve, trailing 21 to 20. Here in the second set, Tony Brooks will do the honors. The six foot one inch senior is out of Belleville, Illinois. Jumping right handed serve played by Soriano up to long. Back row hit from Beard. It's handled by Fontbonne. Free ball over the net from Pash. It's played by Soriano. Long sets it for Ireland, and he gets another tip for a point. That goes into books as a kill. and gives the Yellow Jackets a 22 to 20 lead in set number two. Carson Owens will go on serve. Owen serve played close to the net. Lively coming up with the hit and Lively coming up with the point. When that young man raises up to take a swing, and if he's got an open lane, that's going down for a point. Then Russell O'Connell on serve. It's played by Ireland up to Long over to Mazzoni. He gets a tip and it falls in for the point. The Yellow Jackets doing a good job to find gaps in the middle of the rotations and the po court positioning here from Fontbonne. And now they take a 23 to 21 lead in set number two, long on serve. Coming up with the big swing. It's lively, but it's played by the Yellow Jackets. Ireland hits it over. Set up for lively again. He hits a roll shot that Soriano plays right back over the net on the dig. Lively with a big hit, swings it through a block, and it's out of bounds off of the Yellow Jackets. Funk Bond gets the point and a chance to draw even at 23 as Lively goes on serve. Lively hits it to the back row where it's played by Beard. Ireland on the outside, it's handled by Lively, up to Van Rossum O'Connell, now Scharnhorst hits it into a block, it's out of bounds off the Yellow Jackets, point for Fontbonne, we're even at 23, here in set number two. Lively stays on serve, his jumping right-hander played by Beard, over to Long, Ireland off his back foot, hits it over. It's handled by Fontbonne. Pash on the outside, he hits it through into a block, but Fontbonne keeps it alive. Now with a roll shot, it gets back over, but BW handles from the back row, it's Beard. It's played by Van Rossum O'Connell. Now Scharnhorst hits it into a block, and it's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Set point for the Yellow Jackets as they lead 24-23 here in set number two, and Nick Ireland goes on serve. Ireland's jumping right-hander played by Snook. Up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Pash with the hit, and he puts it down to even things at 24. Tengis Kelly checks in for Fontbonne. He will go on serve. Woolsey also back into the match. Left-handed hit played by Ireland up to Long. Outside hit from Beard, it's blocked at the net. Van Rossum O'Connell handles it to Kelly, not a Pash. Pash hits it off a block. Soriano with the dive to keep it alive. Beard hits it over to Long, free ball for Fontbonne. Pash with the big left-handed swing, he puts it down off of Brandon Long. That's a point for Fontbonne. 
Fon Bon takes a 25-24 lead, and with that, BW will take a timeout to try and regroup as Fon Bon goes on set point. While we have this break in the action, want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball match is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics. Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes. And Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for all of your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and the Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of the timeout, it's Junker, Long, Mazzoni, Soriano, Beard, and Ireland on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. On the floor for the Griffins, it's Van Rossum, O'Connell, Lively, Woolsey, Sharnhorst, Pash, and Kelly. Kelly remains on serve, and the Griffins have set point. The left handed attempt clears the net. It's played by Ireland. He sets up Beard for a hit. Beard puts it down. We're back to even at 25 in set number two. Garson Junker will go on serve for the Yellow Jackets. Junker hits it into the net. That puts Font Bon on set point once again. Nate Pash will serve it up for Font Bon. Pash's left hand attempt hits the net. Ireland with a dive to keep it alive. Beard on the outside. He muscles it out of bounds. It's a point and a set for Fontbonne as they close it out, 27-25. Fontbonne now leads two sets to none. After winning the first 25-19, Fontbonne battled back with the Yellow Jackets facing set point, and the Griffins rally to close out a 27-25 win in set number two. We're gonna step aside for a break, and when we come back, we'll have third set action in this MCVL match at Baldwin Wallace between the Yellow Jackets and Font Ball. Thank you for watching on BWF, BWYellowJackets.com.
Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Erspring Gymnasium inside the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University for this Midwest Collegiate Volleyball League match between the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets and Fontbonne University Griffins. The Griffins up two sets to none as we get set to start set number three on the floor for Fontbonne. It's Snook, Pash, Scharnhorst, Lively, Van Rossum, and Irby on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. It's Beard, Owens, Long, check that, Long, Beard, Soriano, Mazzoni, Junker, and Ireland, and Long will serve it up for the Yellow Jackets. It's played by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. And Irby will finish off the kill for Font Bond. Lively leading through two sets with nine kills, eight kills for Nate Pash, and seven for Sharnhorst. Three each for Irby and a Woolsey for Font Bond. Mazzoni with the hit for the Yellow Jackets. Irby with the tip. And there's a collision on the floor as Soriano gets hit up high. Some friendly fire right there as Mazzoni caught him with a hip. And the ball say a lot of bounce off of the Yellow Jackets. Font Bond with a 2-0 lead here in set three. Then Rossum O'Connell's serve. Played by Soriano. Up to Long. Over to Ireland. Off of Snook. It's played over the net on a free ball by Van Rossum O'Connell. Long sets up Junker, Snook there to keep it alive for Font Bond. Coming up with the hit and the point. It's Logan Irby for the kill. Through two sets, Nick Ireland leads the Yellow Jackets with 10 kills. Nick Mazzoni has eight, four for Michael Beard and one for Carson Junker. Van Rossum O'Connell serve played by Soriano Mazzoni with the big swing, it's handled by Font Bond. Van Rossum O'Connell up to Lively. He puts it down, but he put it off the pole that extends from the net. That is a point for the Yellow Jackets. Nick Ireland will go on serve. He clobbers it out of the reach of the Griffins and it hits on the line for an ace for Nick Ireland. That's the Yellow Jackets third ace of the match. Owens and Mazzoni each have one to go along with that one from Ireland. Lively had an opportunity to get a point back for Fontmon, but he sailed it out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Ireland's jump serve played by Sharnhorst over to Van Rossum O'Connell. Free ball from Lively. It's handled by Long up to Soriano. Outside hit from Beard. It's blocked down for a point for Fontbonne. Lively on serve for Fontbonne. It's handled by Soriano. Hit goes over to Mazzoni, and he puts it down for the kill. That evens things up at four apiece here in set number three. Carson Junker will go on serve. Gives the ball a couple dribbles and a couple spins before he tosses it up with the right hand and sails it out of bounds. Fontbonne with the point. Tengis Kelly serves it for Fontbonne. Chris Mole with a big swing and a point for the Yellow Jackets as Fontbonne can't handle it. Mole gets credited for the kill.
Mazzoni with the serve. It's handled by Fombaugh and Pesh. Outside roll shot handled by Ireland. Mazzoni coming up with a big swing for the Yellow Jackets. Fontbaum there. Scharnhorst hits it over the net. It's played by Soriano. Now with a tip, it's Ireland. Van Rossum O'Connell read it, filled the gap, helps set up Pesh for the kill and a point. Fontbaum goes in front, six to five. Pash goes on serve for Fombon. Received by Soriano. Ireland with a big hit from the back row. It's blocked. Out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets to even things up at six. Here in set number three with the Yellow Jackets down two sets to none. Beard goes on serve and he sends it out of bounds. A little bit too long on that attempt. Fontbon will take over serve and they hold a 7 6 advantage here at set number three. It's Scharnhorst with the serve, played by Soriano up to long. Moore with a big swing and it's off of the face of Nate Pash and goes right to the court. Pesh, very upset with that hit, but he's getting congratulations for all of his teammates for staying in. That young man is not happy to be on the receiving end of that hit, and can't say I blame him. That does not tickle, that's for sure. We're even at seven here in set number three. Carson Owens. Goes on serve. It's played by Scharnhorst up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Big swing and a point for Ryan Lively. That's a kill for Ryan Lively. Tony Brooks will rotate in. And he will serve it up for Fontbonne. Beard receives it up to long over to Mazzoni. Mazzoni's shot played by Sharnhorst and tipped over the net by Van Rossum O'Connell. Beard from the back row smashes it out of bounds. The Yellow Jackets were hoping for a deflection. They did not get that call. It's a point for Fontbonne and Brooks will stay on serve. Jumping right-handed attempt, tips off the net into the Yellow Jacket court, they play it. Ireland with a big hit that's handled by Scharnhorst. Lively with a big hit. Goes through a block and down to the floor for a point for Fontbonne. Starting to create a little separation now are the Griffins as they hold a 10 to seven advantage here in set number three. Jumping serve from Brooks, just misses the baseline. Out of bounds, too long point for the Yellow Jackets. Brandon Long will go on serve for BW. It's played by Scharnhorst up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Lively with the hit and the kill. There's a reason Lively came into this game, this match rather, with a pretty substantial team lead in kills as he has 200, had 239 coming into the match. Block at the net is saved momentarily by Fontbaum, but Junker puts it down for the Yellow Jacket point. No other Griffins player came in with more than 171 kills on the season. So Lively is doing what he normally does. Pash on the outside, he hits it through a block. It's deflected out of bounds by the Yellow Jackets. Point for the Griffins. They hold a 12 to nine lead over the Yellow Jackets here in set number three, and Lively will go on serve. 
He scorches it over the net. Soriano keeps it alive over to Mazzoni, who sends it down for the point for the Yellow Jackets. You really got to credit Soriano on that reception. That ball was absolutely crushed, and he made a leaping attempt to his left to keep it alive for the Yellow Jackets, and Mazzoni was there to finish off the point. Carson Junker on serve, and it hits out of bounds. It's a point for Fontbonne. Tengis Kelly rotates in on serve. Braden Woolsey back into the match for Fontbonne as well. Long with a set, Beard with a hit. It's played by Van Rossum O'Connell. Up to Kelly, over to Scharnhorst, and it hits the baseline for a point. Four point lead now here in set number three for Fontbonne, 14 to 10. Tengis Kelly with the jumping left-handed serve played by Soriano up to Long. Over to Mazzoni, his left-handed hit is blocked out of bounds. It's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Credit Tengis Kelly with the hustle effort to dive into his own team's bench to try and keep that point alive. Was unable to do so. Nick Mazzoni will rotate to take the serve for the Yellow Jackets. Left-handed attempt, tips off the net. Scharnhorst, or Lively rather, dives to keep it alive. Scharnhorst with an outside hit attempt, but he clobbers it out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Mazzoni with the left-handed serve, played up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Scharnhorst hits it into a block, but Fontbonne keeps it alive momentarily before the official calls a two-hit infraction on Fontbonne. Point for the Yellow Jackets. They have a chance to tie things up as they trail 14 to 13 with Nick Mazzoni on serve. Lively plays it straight up in the air. Van Rossum O'Connell has to hurry to set up Pash, and Pash sends it out of bounds. We're even at 14 here in set number three. Mazzoni chops down on the ball four times before taking his approach toward the net. Woolsey with a big hit. The Yellow Jackets play it long with the set. Ireland from the back line bounces off of a couple of Yellow Jackets and it's played as a free ball. Now Van Rossum O'Connell over to Pash and Pash puts it down through a block for the kill. That had to feel good for Pash who was not very happy earlier in this third set when he took a Chris Mole kill right off the chin. Pash is left-handed attempt played by Ireland up to Long. Over to Beard. It's blocked. It's down for a foot bomb point. Woolsey credited with the block. He used his 6'5", 220-pound frame to get in the path of Michael Beard's hit. Pash is left-handed serve, played by Ireland right close to the net. Beard with a big shot, but Snook with the right-handed uh, dig. Pash with the hit, played by Mazzoni. Back row attack from Ireland, and he smokes it out of bounds. That's a point for the Griffins, who now lead 17-14 here in set number three. With that, we have a timeout on the floor, and while we have this opportunity, Want to remind you that today's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball match against Fontbonne is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, and Dan Andrews and Olympic Forest Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. 
Chuck Rattuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official health care provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of the Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for all of your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Font Bond will stay on serve. Out of the timeout, Pash will be the server. He's joined on the floor by Lively, Snook, Sharnhorst, Woolsey, and Van Rossum O'Connell. On the floor for the Yellow Jackets, it's Soriano, Mole, Ireland, Beard, Mazzoni, and Long. Pash's left-handed serve hits off the net. It's played by Beard up to Long. Over to Mazzoni. He hits a roll shot handled by Van Rossum O'Connell. Set for Sharnhorst. He tips it over the net. It's played by the Yellow Jackets. Big swing by Mazzoni. Dug out and sent right back over the net. Block. Each team traded a block. And now Beard hits it through a block out of bounds. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. And Beard will go on serve. Beard's right-handed serve played by Lively up to Van Rossum O'Connor. Wolsey smokes it off of Michael Beard's chin and down for the point. Beard hops up with a smile on his face, but that could not have felt good. Coming off the hand of the 6'5", 220-pound Wolsey. Sharnhorst on serve. Hits off the top of the net, but played by Soriano. Over to to Mazzoni, and it's a kill for the Yellow Jacket. Sophomore right side hitter from Springboro. Carson Owens checks into the match for Baldwin Wallace. The serve played up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Not a lively and lively smokes it down for the kill to give Fontbonne a 19-16 lead here in set number three. Tony Brooks will check in. Woolsey will check out. Brooks' serve clears the net. It's played by Ireland. He gets a hit back from Beard. It's handled by Lively. Up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Pash with the kill attempt, and he sends it into the Yellow Jacket bench. Out of bounds. Point for Baldwin Wallace. Brandon Long with the right-handed attempt played by Sharnhorst. Set up for Lively, and Lively does what he's been very accustomed to doing in this match. Put it down with authority for the finish. Zick caught Soriano up high, and he was not able to get enough behind it to elevate to help set up a teammate. Van Rossum O'Connell on serve, played by Soriano up to Long. Beard with the back row attack. Off a of Sharnhorst out of bounds. Point for the Yellow Jackets. Nick Ireland goes on serve for the Yellow Jackets, who trail in set number three, 20 to 18. Van Rossum O'Connell plays it over to Snook. Not a pass. He sends it over on a free ball. Soriano handles it up to Long. Over to Beard. Beard puts it out of bounds off of Sharnhorst. That's a point for the Yellow Jackets. Nick Ireland with a chance to tie things up here. BW down 20 to 19. 
It's handled by Snook up to Van Rossum O'Connell. Lively with a hit. It's tipped out of bounds off the Yellow Jackets. Point, Funk Bond. Lively on serve, and he smokes it into the net. Point for Baldwin Wallace. They again have a chance to tie it up, this time with Carson Junker on serve. Sharnhorst plays it up to Van Ross O'Connell, then down to Irby, who smokes it. Down for the kill. Brandon Long tried to receive that hit and dig it out, but didn't really bounce very high off his arm, so Mazzoni had a diving attempt, but he couldn't get enough behind it. Tengis Kelly checks in to handle serves. Left-handed attempt handled by Ireland over to Mazzoni. It's blocked down for a point for Funk Bond. Wolsey and Sharnhorse combined on the block for the point. With that, we have a timeout on the floor by Baldwin Wallace. Tonight's Yellow Jacket men's volleyball match against Font Bonn is being brought to you by BSN Sports and Nike, the official apparel and uniform provider for Yellow Jacket Athletics, Cleveland Clinic Sports Medicine, proud medical provider for BW Athletics and its student athletes, Dan Andrews and Olympic Force Products, a global recycling company. Today's match is also being brought to you by the Oswald Company for all of your insurance and risk management needs. Chuck Ratuno and OE Connection LLC, your global automotive technology provider. Medical Mutual of Ohio, the official healthcare provider of Baldwin Wallace University. And Barron's Bus Lines, the official charter bus company of Yellow Jacket Athletics. Thank you for all of your support of Baldwin Wallace University, BW Athletics, and Yellow Jacket student athletes across all sports. Out of that timeout, it is Chris Mole, Nick Ireland, Michael Beard, Andrew Soriano, Nick Mazzoni, and Brandon Long on the floor for the Yellow Jackets. Braden Woolsey, Nate Pash, Colin Scharnhorst, Kyler Van Rossum O'Connell, Tengis Kelly, and Ryan Lively on the floor for the Griffins. Kelly will remain on serve. His left-handed attempt taken by Ireland. Beard with the tip, dive to keep it alive from Van Rossum O'Connell. Pash has his tip blocked right back at him, and now Woolsey comes up with a big hit that's played by Soriano. Long with the set, Ireland with the smash, Tengis Kelly handles it. Lively with a back row hit, hits it through a block. It's a point for Fontbonne, and they are on set and match point. Leading 24 to 20 here in set number three. Van Rossum trying to rev up the Fontbonne crowd and the bench. And everybody on their feet to try and cheer Fontbonne on to victory. Long with the set. Mazzoni hits it out of bounds off of Fontbonne. The Yellow Jackets stay alive with that kill from Nick Mazzoni. Nick Mazzoni's left-handed serve hits into the net, and that is game, set, and match for Font Bond. They close out set number three by a 25-21 count. They win this in straight sets, 25-19, 27-25, 25-21 over the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. Baldwin Wallace drops to eight and 17 on the season, they are now five and three at the home court and dropped to three and four in conference play. Font Bonn improves to 17 and six overall, five and five away from home and six and zero oh in MCVL action. BW is next in action on the volleyball court next Saturday afternoon when they travel to Angola, Indiana to play at Trine University at Hershey Hall. That'll be a one o'clock first serve. And Font Bonn 
will next be in action on Friday, April 1st, when they travel to Adrian, Michigan, to battle the Bulldogs before closing out the regular season at Olivet on Saturday, April 2nd at noon Central Time. The MCVL Conference Tournament gets underway the following week. Once again, the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets drop this straight sets match to Fontbonne, 25-19, 27-25, 25-21. Before we get on out of here, we'll take a look at some of the individual statistics. Leading the way with 16 kills for Fontbonne was Ryan Lively. He had just four errors and had a 444 hit percentage. Nate Pash had 11 kills. Colin Scharnhorst had eight. Logan Irby finished with six and a team best 556 hitting percentage. Braden Woolsey had five kills with a 500 hitting percentage. Kyler Van Rossum O'Connell had 43 assists in the match. He also had nine digs to lead in both of those categories, leading the way for the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jackets. Nick Mazzoni had 13 kills. He had six errors and hit at a 219 percentage. He also had two digs. Nick Ireland had 11 kills and a 259 hit percentage. He had four, added four digs and a one set assist. Michael Beard had seven kills and one assist with two digs. Chris Mole and Carson Junker each had two kills. Leading the way with 30 assists was Brandon Long, who also had a team best five digs. Correct that, Andrew Soriano had a team leading 10 digs in the match. As a team, BW led with total attacks with 95 to 91 for Fontbonne but Fontbonne had 46 kills to 35 for the Yellow Jackets. Attack errors, BW had two more, 17 to 15. Fontbonne hit at a higher percentage, 341 to 189. Fontbonne also led in assists, 46-32. The Yellow Jackets had one more service ace, three to Fontbonne's two. BW also had one more service error, 12 to 11. Diggs win in favor of Fontbonne, 39 to 23. Reception errors also, Fontbonne committed one more, three to the Yellow Jackets. Two total blocks, Fontbonne had five, the Yellow Jackets had two. Fontbonne had one solo block and eight block assists. The Yellow Jackets had four block assists. That'll do it for our broadcast today. Once again, the Baldwin Wallace Yellow Jacket the men's volleyball team falls to Fontbonne in straight sets, 25-19, 27-25 and 25-21 here at the Ursprung Gymnasium inside the Lou Higgins Center on the campus of Baldwin Wallace University. So for everyone here at Baldwin Wallace, including the Athletic Communications Office, I want to send out a thank you to you for watching tonight's match. And I want to wish you a great rest of your Saturday afternoon and a great rest of your weekend. Until next time, I'm Matt Florjancic saying make today better than yesterday and make tomorrow better than today. Have a great day, everyone, and go Jackets.